Welcome to Off Grid Victory. You know, I used to always kind of chuckle and laugh when I would see a, a redneck or a hillbilly carting uh, in their truck all sorts of wacky junk. Um, and uh, recently, or now that I've gotten a truck and my own trailer, I'm doing the same thing. So <laughs> it looks like I've, I got to take the moat, the plank, out of my own eye now. So here are some of the wacky things that I'm carrying today in my trailer. Uh, as you can see, I have a five, uh, well, 55 gallon steel drum, um, five gallon drums uh, with a five gallon buckets. And of course I need something in a trash bag. So I have a cardboard and trash bag up there. Uh, I got some furniture sitting up there, uh, totes. Uh, in the rear here, in the moving blanket, I have um, uh, uh, an appliance, uh, a laundry machine. <laughs> And it's all cobbled together with everything but bubble gum. <laughs> so anyway, I think it'll all stay together. And of course, I can't forget, and um, I uh, cannot leave out the quintessential thing that all hillbillies hicks must have on their truck or on their trailer as they're moving is that cooler right there. It has to be displayed proud and high, and everybody has to have a... a, a <laughs> A good old, uh, a good old ice box, uh, uh, proudly displayed. And, and so, you know, one might ask, why would you do that? Why would you put it out in the elements, subjecting it to the hot sun, uh, you know, the rain, whatever have you? Well, um, any redneck or hillbilly will tell you. I mean, uh, I need quick access to my cold beer, so that is why I have that thing up there. But anyway. Um, so next time you go, you're going down the road and you see a, a, a bunch of junk on a trailer or a truck, um, you know, humble yourself because one day you might become that hick or hillbilly or redneck and you might be doing the same thing like me. Shalom, y'all.